Yo, VIP, let's kick it. All right, stop, collaborate, and listen. iPhone is back with a brand new edition. Something grabs a hold of me tightly, flow like a harpoon, daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. Turn off the lights and I'll glow. You like that? Did you hear me say some sing? If not, rewind it back and play again. So the iPhone 12 strategy is not to buy the iPhone. You know why? Because it's iPhoney. Uh, there are no specs compelling me to the brand. I mean, let's just look at um, no 120 hertz. It's a flagship product, right? I mean, what's with that? Uh, you got the likes of Samsung Galaxy, um, the, the OnePlus offering bigger, uh, larger displays uh, with AMOLED screens at a $700 dollar price tag compared to paying let's say um a thousand for the uh the pro and then the pro max uh, uh 1100 um so there are other competitors out there that have closed in on the iphone and uh i think this time around skip the um skip the offering that they have and go for the iphone 13 uh because they probably will have a you know a better spec uh lineup next year but there is a compelling argument for the iphone it's that you know they provide updates for the hardware up to like seven odd years um nowadays because the hardware has gotten better um just like the macintosh laptops uh but android does offer updates up to like four three four years or so i would say um, and they're getting better at that um, in terms of the competition. Also, the LiDAR and the um, MM Wave technology for 5G, that's neither here nor there yet. Um, you, don't, you won't see that just yet trickling out by the carrier slowly. The difficulty of LiDAR skill set requires uh, experience level, which is not for the everyday u iPhone user. But anyway, this is it for me. Uh, please like or subscribe to my channel and see you again in my next video. Bye.